So together they've got to be a bomb wash and go, right? Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Miss Lauren Lee 11 and today I'm going to be doing something that I haven't intentionally done before but today I will be doing it intentionally and if you can guess by the title guys, that's right, I'm going to be mixing two products that don't mix. I know right? Have you ever literally just wanted to use products and then you put them on your hair and it starts balling up and you have to wash it all out again? I figured I've combated that and what I'm going to do is show you how today. So today the two products I'm going to be using, the Oldie But Goodie Curl and Style Milk. I literally love how this makes my hair feel so soft. And then from my last couple of videos you've been seeing that I've really got into the Icy Fantasia Gel. I'm going to be using these together guys. Um, I discovered this by accident because I was going to put them on my hair together. Even though the IC gel doesn't necessarily need anything underneath it. But the reason being is I love the properties that both of them have individually. So together they've got to be a bomb wash and go, right? Okay. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to demonstrate to you on my hand, guys, how this mixes or doesn't mix, I should say. Right, so first off, I'm going to apply just on my hand Shea Moisture. Okay, just like that. And I'm going to take a little bit of the IC gel it on here like that okay so you can see two of them together and then I'm going to start mixing and there you go guys there you have it the balling that kind of curdled not wanting to agree type of mixture but if you carry on mixing guys if you notice carry on mixing it becomes like a lotion okay so therefore that is telling me that it does mix, it just takes a bit of time. So if you want to see how this goes and you want to see the end results, carry on watching. Okay. Okay hey guys, now this section is applied with IC gel, you're most probably thinking where does the Shea Moisture come into it? And if some of you have already guessed, yes that's right guys, I'm going to be putting it on top. As you know, when gel dries it has a cast and it makes the hair quite crunchy. So what I'm going to do whilst my hair is wet, I'm going to apply the Shea Moisture Style and Curl Milk just because it pulls down the hair, gives it great shine and added moisture. So yes guys, it is kind of time consuming but it will be worth it in the end, I promise you. Okay. As you saw, as I showed you, the product, it does eventually mix. And as you can see, I have no ball in. I've just got nice definition. So basically I'm using the gel as a styler and a definer, and then the cream almost as a moisturizer like a lotion and there you go it's hanging the hair now whether it will dry like that I'm not entirely sure <laughs> but we'll see okay and if you do find that it's not mixing very well just smooth it in guys right so for those of you who are wondering why I didn't bother to put the leave-in underneath it's because when I put leave-in underneath I found that I do get balling and it doesn't mix at all and then I'll have to wash up my hair again. But when, once the gel's applied, as you can see guys, I'm not getting that. I'm just getting moisturised hair basically. So it's almost like I've created a cream with a bit of a hold. Okay, so there you have it. It's one part done already. Very moisturised, very defined. And if there are any white bits, guys, don't worry about it. It will disappear once the hair dries. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and carry on. I'm going to come back to you once my hair is completely um, styled and saturated. And then once my hair is fully dried, you can see the end result and whether this wash and go combo worked or not. Okay, guys, so I'll see you in a bit. Later that same evening. Okay, guys, so I'm back and 
took a very long time. Now it literally felt like seven hours later. But as you can see, my hair is fully coated. I've still got some remnants of the Shea Moisture Style and Curl Milk. Guys, I'm so tired. I will have to show you the drying results tomorrow. But let me just show you the back before I go. If, as I said, if you do see any white parts on my hair, um, they will disappear. Look, my fingers are literally shriveled. They will disappear once my hair has dried. And I will come back to you once my hair is dried and shiny. But um, as you can see, guys, not too much balling. Well, I can't see any balling right now. I don't know about the back. As I said, I don't usually look at the back, but yeah, so uh, I'll see you tomorrow, guys, with the dried results. The next day. Hey, peeps, and welcome back. This is day two, so the second day, day after I've washed my hair, basically. So you can see my hair is fully dry and it's fluffy. And as you can see, guys, even though the product didn't mix too well in my hand initially, once obviously I mixed it in and applied it to my hair, as you can see, I have no white bits, I have shine, I have definition, it's fluffy, I have no cast, I didn't crunch out any cast, it's just fluffy all by itself. I've got a lot of movement, let me show you the back. So yes, guys. That method of applying the gel and then the leave-in conditioner on top worked lovely, as you can see. So it's soft. As I said, I've got a lot of shrinkage. But, uh, yeah. So that's it, guys. I hope if you do try this method that it works out well for you. If it doesn't, let me know and I'll see what I can do if I can review something else. But in the meantime, this is it, as I said. And thank you so much, guys, for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. All right, bye.